Good morning. Just wanted to hop on here and uh, celebrate some musicians' birthdays for March 4th. It's kind of a slim pickings as far as notoriety goes, but who knows? Maybe some of you will know some of these. There are a few um, highlighted ones here. Um, I also wanted to take a moment to shout out one of my dear friends, Amanda Hicks and uh, wish her a very happy birthday. Um, I, I really miss you and I love your, I miss your smile. So hope to see you soon sometime. And again, happy birthday. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and get into the musician's birthdays for March 4th. So musician, Bobby Womack, born 1944 and died in 2014, was an American singer-songwriter who was the lead singer of the Valentinos, who, and he wrote and recorded the Rolling Stones' first number one hit, It's All Over Now. Then we have Eric Allendale, born in 1936. He was a member of the British soul band, The Foundations, and they had a 1967 number one single, Baby Now That I Found You, and then a 1969 U.S. single at number three for Build Me Up a Buttercup. And then we have um, number three, who is Michael Wilson, he was born in 1944. He was with the British pop group Davy D, Dozy, Beaky, Mick and Titch. Um, and they had a UK number one hit single in 1968, Legend of Xanadu. I'm going to have to check that one out. I don't know whether it was good or bad, but we'll, we'll see, right? Then we got... Number four, Chris Squire, born 1948 and died in 2015. He was the bassist and founding member of the group Yes. And they had a 1984 number one single, Owner of a Lonely Heart. He was the only member to appear on each of their 21 studio albums released from 1969 to 2014. Then we have um, uh, musician Chris Ray. He was born in 1951, and he was a British rock blues singer, songwriter, and guitarist uh, who had a UK number 10 single, The Road to Hell, and his 1989 UK number one album of the same name spent 76 weeks on the UK chart. Best known for, best known in America, in America for the 1978 hit song "Fool If You Think It's Over," which I gotta check that one out too. Then we have number six, Pete Haycock, born 1952. He was a British blues rock group, uh, part of the British blues rock group, Climax Blues Band, and they had a 1977. U.S. number three and U.K. number uh, 1976 number 10 single, Couldn't Get It Right. So we'll check that one out as well. And then we have um, number seven is Boone Gould. He was born in 1955 and passed away in 2019, and he was an English musician, guitarist with Level 42. And they had a 1986 number three UK and US number 12 single, Lessons in Love. I like that song too. Um, and they also had um, a few, quite a few other hits um, to their credit. Then we have Jason Newstead. Born 1963, 
He's the American bassist with Metallica, who joined in 1986 after Cliff Burton's death and remained a member until 2001. And he was once a member of Flotsam and Jetsam, and he worked in the bands Echo Brain and Voivod and worked with Ozzy Osbourne for a little while and led his own band, Newstead, from 2012 to 2014. Um, then we go to Patrick Hannon. He was born in 1966. He was the a drummer with the English alternative band, The Sundays. His uh, UK top five hit, Here's Where the Story Ends, was in 1990. <clears throat> then we have Evan Dando, or Dando. He was born in... 1967. I know I've got little small eyes today because I'm tired. Um, he was an American musician from alternative rock, the alternative rock band, the Lemonheads. And they were best known for their cover of the Simon and Garfunkel's song, Mrs. Robinson in the 1990s. And then we have Fergal Lawler, born in 1971. <clears throat> Excuse me. He was the drummer with the English rock band, or with the Irish rock band, the Cranberries, who had the 1994 UK number 14 single, Linger. And I'm sure you all have heard that one. I like that one. Now, the last person I have listed for musicians' birthdays for today is a um, individual by known by the initials MDV. He was born in 1963, and he was a Dutch pop bassist for the band Burma Shave, and they had a single um, by the name of Stash. Not sure when or what have you, but that's what I've been, but what I was able to glean from the internet. So if you liked anything you heard today, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so if you so desire. And if you would, um, if you have any comments or suggestions, please put those in the comments down below. And I Thank you for your time. And again, happy birthday, Mana. Have a wonderful day.